Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Dankar. I'm Head of Products Data Protection at AWS. My name is Palak Desai. I'm Head of Product for Platforms and Growth at AWS Backup. So we are going to walk you through a few things, but the most important one we wanted to talk to you first is why we do what we do, right? So the product that we have or the service we have, we call it AWS Backup. We, you heard about that in just a few minutes, actually in the previous session. Here, what I wanted to first talk to you about is why, why we are doing what we are doing. So the most important thing, what we heard from our customers, is that they are looking for a centralized backup or data protection solution across multiple AWS resources. As you can imagine, many of our customers have not just one, but multiple AWS resources. We'll go through those in just a minute. And they're looking for a centralized solution. So as we double click on that, there's sort of three things that we hear from them. The first one and the most important one is that they're looking for automated data protection. The second one is they're looking for improving data resiliency from such a solution. And the third one is that they're looking for compliance and governance. So as AWS backup, you know, the first thing we do is to be able to give them a centralized and a policy-driven interface that can scale as they bring in more resources or as they start backing up uh, more and more data. Right? So it's a single interface that scales as the needs grow. Second thing we do for them is to give them essentially the ability to improve data resiliency. Now, as, as we all know, even though the backup works great, but then there are times you need access to the data because of business continuity reasons, because of, you know, in some cases, DR reasons, and not only the access, but also, you know, to be able to restore it at the right place, right time becomes very important. What we do for that is giving our, our customers the ability that they can not only create copies in a, in a different account, cross account, but also cross regions, so that they can you know, do their restore and recover activities you know, in the fastest possible manner. The third thing we do, and that's something we hear a lot from our customers who are in regulated industries, and that's really around compliance and governance. We have a, a few different things that we do, but most important thing is that what we're hearing from our customers is that they're looking for essentially auditor-ready reports, something that they can show to the auditors as and when they, they're required to. Second in that area that we do, the second thing we do in that area is that they're looking for compliance in terms of immutable backups or you know, for you know, things like for legal needs. We'll double click on that in just a minute. My colleague is gonna walk you through that. But aren't S3 back snapshots, aren't EBS snapshots immutable? Um, we talked about that uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll come to that in in more detail. So, just to kind of summarize, you know, the AWS backup centralized policy based scales as your needs grow. But in terms of what the customers get, you know, they get a cloud native uh, solution for their backups. Uh, AWS resources, as well as hybrid resources, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. DR or business continuity, that's big need that we're hearing from our customers that we solve in terms of the use case. And then last one, of course, is compliance and governance. With that, now this is my favorite slide. We call it the <laughs> lo logo slide. Uh, the idea really is to give you a feel for the types of resources we support today as AWS backup. I mean, it's fully managed, policy-driven, centrally, centrally, uh, centrally manageable and automated. You get all of that. But the real thing that our customers care about the most from AWS Backup is that, and as you think, as you read left to right, compute, so armies, we were talking about that just a minute ago, different types of storage, block storage, uh, of course, S3, file storage, going into databases, RDS, and then, you know, the as AWS comes up with new databases, you know, many of our customers, they are looking for NoSQL type of databases. Of course, we try to provide the, the, the widest possible solution available to our customers when it comes to the database uh, data protection needs. And then, you know, going you know, down the list from left to right, as you think, start thinking about applications, uh, we talked about VSS in, you know, in the previous session, but beyond that, uh, we have VMware support today both on-premises as well as VMC in AWS. And uh, we have in preview available uh, support for SAP HANA on EC2. To round off the, kind of the, the full picture, 
we last, uh, I think uh, Q4, we released support for uh, CloudFormation. With that, now what our customers have the ability to do is to be able to have sort of composite uh, data protection, not just a single resource, but multiple resources at the same time. As you see on the right-hand right side, even though we started with AWS resources as kind of the, the first objective, but we already support hybrid. Customers are using us not only to protect their AWS resources, but more and more VMware resources which are running on-premises or running in uh, VMC and AWS. Some numbers. So we can say that we have over 100,000, actually to be more exact, 105,000 customers using AWS Backup today. Uh, they are protecting excess of exabytes of data, exabyte of data using AWS Backup. And then, you know, Forrester, they, uh, they have recognized us in their large category of data resilience solution suite. There's some link here uh, in case you're interested to know more about what that means. But that's something we're very proud about, that you know, we are getting recognition from, industry, from, the, uh, from Forrester as well. So with that, let me invite my colleague Palak to take us to the next step. Thank you, Ajay. So as Ajay mentioned, right, uh, immutability is a big portion of data protection. And to that extent, uh, AWS Backup provides the capability of vault locks, which allows customers to lock their backups into a vault and, and define lifecycle management for that locks. Now, this provides customers the ability to write once and read multiple times, making the data immutable. In fact, Cohesed Associates has certified AWS vault lock to be used in regulated industries regulated by SSC 17A, FINRA, and CFTC. This is what our customers wanted, and we have delivered the same. And we'll go more into details of the word log as we dive deep into the architecture slides in the next couple of uh, sections. So immutability is one thing, but you also want to report on your backup operations, like what is the health of my backup? To that extent, we have another uh, feature and capability release, which is known as Backup Audit Manager. What it will do is it will monitor your backup operations not only that, it will check against your compliance policies, so any of your controls that you have just defined uh, for your backup operations, it will check your operations against those policies and then create auditor-ready reports that you can consume to see how your backup operations are performing. And we have added more and more controls, so now you can actually define your controls to say what is my last restore time, backups happening at what point in time, per resource you can do that. 